Today we are going to discuss one of the most important parts of the interview process, what you wear to the interview. Many of you are saying one of two things. I watch lawyers on television on The Good Wife or Suits and I know what I'm supposed to wear. Or I know lawyers and I see what they wear and I'm going to dress like them. Both of these are just plain wrong. First of all, Hollywood should not be your litmus test for appropriate interview attire. Every few years, a new legal show comes on and students fall into that trap. Don't let this happen to you. Second, the lawyers you know already have their jobs. What they get to wear now that they have the job is not equivalent to what you can wear for an interview. A few preliminary pieces of advice for both sexes. First, wear a two-piece cohesive suit. This is especially true for men who should not wear a sports coat and slacks to an interview. Invest in at least one suit for interview season. Second, avoid wearing cologne or perfume that is really strong. If people can smell you long after you have left the room, it is a good idea to avoid it during the interview. Third, cover all visible tattoos. Fourth, men should remove all piercings. And we mean all, including the one on your tongue. Women should limit themselves to one ear earring, one piercing in each ear. Remove the other piercings from wherever they are visible from your nose, eyebrows, lips, tongue, especially if your tongue is noticeable when you speak. We are going to cover everything that goes into your attire for an interview, from your head to your feet, starting at the top. This is an appropriate hairstyle for an interview. We do not need an elaborate going out to party hairstyle. Your hair should be conservative whether it's hanging down or in a bun. Before we move on, one more point that we hear often. Do I have to straighten or press my hair or can I keep it in its natural curly afro state? As long as it is well maintained, you can keep your hair in whatever state you prefer. Just remember that you don't want to be remembered by the interviewer as the one with that hair. Also, for those who, who wear their hairs covered for religious or cultural reasons, your head covering should be conservative with no fancy pattern or print. We suggest your head covering be a solid color that blends with the rest of your suit, preferably black or navy. Speaking of black or navy, your suit should be in two pieces in black or navy. The shirt that you wear underneath the suit should also be conservative. Stick with white or light blue. It's very important that you iron every piece of your outfit. Send your suit to the dry cleaners. Send your shirt to the dry cleaners. An example we have here is the red shirt. The red is a beautiful shirt, but it's wrinkled and it's not an appropriate color for interviewing. Also, the tangerine shell. Also a beautiful color, not appropriate for interviews. And finally, we have a jacket that's kind of a taupe color, gray. It's just not the right color for interviews. Stick with the darker navy or black for interviewing. As we go further down, notice on our model that her skirt is the appropriate length. Make sure it's a conservative length, standing and sitting. Hers is long enough that you know that when she sits down, she will not show too much leg. That's very important. And speaking of showing leg, you will also notice that she's wearing pantyhose. I know many people no longer consider pantyhose cool, but for interviewing, go conservatively and wear pantyhose. All the way down to her shoes, which are conservative height. These are about two inches or less. On the table, you will see shoes that are not appropriate. These heels that are on the table here are too high. The burgundy ones are open-toed. Stay away from that. The burgundy ones are the wrong color. They're cute, but no, stay away. The black shoes also have a red on the bottom. This sends the wrong message as you're leaving the room that what they remember is the red bottom shoe and not you. And stay away from platforms. Stay with conservative height, heel height. I know many people are comfortable in taller heels but in interviews you should stay away from them. Next, in the opening we, lim we told you to limit your piercings. It's very important to just have one piercing in each ear and very conservative jewelry. 
Our model is wearing a pearl necklace that she can barely see. It's not something that stands out and it's like, wow, she's wearing pearls. It's just a nice, soft touch. That's a perfect example of what you wear for an interview. In terms of the makeup, our model is also wearing makeup, but it's very conservative and it doesn't jump out at you. Stay away from the bright red lips that are popular, the smoky eyes, the extra long eyelash extensions. Those are for out in the club, not for interviewing. Uh, going back to jewelry, stick with very conservative jewelry and be aware if your jewelry makes noise. If you have bangles on your arm, you know, take them off for the interview. You do not need any rattling while you're moving your hands. Pantyhose is essential. I know people think it's optional. It's essential to wear during the interview process. Low uh, tops are also a no-no. Stick with a conservative top with a collar. For interviews, just go with a collar top. Even if you really don't enjoy it, it's not something that you always wear, in your wardrobe, you should have one collar top to wear to your interviews. Knee-length skirt suits should be your first choice for interviews. If for religious or cultural reasons, you cannot wear skirts that are that knee-length, then a pantsuit would be appropriate. We do not recommend skirt suits that have maxi-length skirts for interviews. Also, do not wear sheath dresses with jackets to interviews in lieu of a skirt suit. The sheath dress is not appropriate for interviews. Buy a suit that comes together. So either put a jacket and skirt or jacket and pants. It's very important that they match. And look at yourself not just in the light of your closet. Go into the sunlight because there have been many a times where people show up to interviews with a dark blue jacket and a black bottom. You do not want to be remembered as that student. These are all the kind of just common things that you should really think about before going on interviews. But if you have any questions, definitely check with your career services about an outfit. Take it in and show it to them. Use them for advice on what to wear to interviews, because that's one of the most important things that students too often forget about. Thanks.